Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Blender label texture in Blender 4.2. So first start with set up the blend file. So let's get rid of the default stuff. So press A to select all, then press X to delete it. So if you are using my free 3D model soda can, I will show you how to download my free 3D model. So click on the link down below and then type down zero as the price and then download that and make the same process and then download the Blender texture for our next step. So now I will show you how to import the model to the Blend file. Go to the file and click on Append. Then find your downloaded file and click on that. Click on the object. And in this video, we are going to use the middle soda can. So select the soda can middle and click on Append. Then press Option plus G to center it to the 3D cursor. Then press Z to switch the shading mode and select the material preview. And like you see, the soda can only have the silver material. But in this video, we are going to fix that. So now I will show you how to set up the Blender label material. So select the soda can. Press 1 on your numpad to get to the front view. This is how you enable the numpad for laptops. Go to Edit, then click on Preferences. Go to Input and then check Emulate Numpad. Then press the Tab button to go to Edit Mode. So this is the Tab button just right over the Caps Lock. Then select this vertex and then press Option or Alt to select the whole edge loop. Then Press Control and then plus on the numpad to expand the selection. I have changed that shortcut to Option and then Plus, just because I don't have any numpad on my laptop. And when you are down, the selection will look like this. And you can change that too by go to Preferences and then click on Key Map. Search for Select More and then change it to the shortcut you like. Okay, to be honest, I don't know exactly which one of this make the Select More in the viewport, so I change all of them and then go to the material selection here to the right, and then click here on the plus button to add another material, and then click on the new button to create a new material, and then rename it to Blender Label, and then click on Assign to apply the new material to our model, and then tab back to Object Mode. Open a new window. By holding your mouse over here until this symbol shows up, then drag the new window that way you will until the new window show up. Then click here and change the editor type to Shader Editor and then press N to hide the sidebar. So first start with press Shift plus A to add a image texture node, and then plug the color into the base color, and then open the Blender label texture we downloaded before. I will do the black version for this tutorial, but you can use the orange version or you can use your own label texture, and then go to the UV editing. So the goal of this is to wrap this correctly. And like you see, some vertices is missing here to the left. So to fix that, press U to go to the UV mapping menu and then click on the unwrap. And I know it kind of looks weird right now, but to fix that, press U again and click on cylinder projection. So press A to select all, then press S to scale it down and then press G to move it. And I'm just going to scale and move it a little until it looked like this. And then press S plus X to scale it up on the X axis. And I'm going to speed up this process, but continue to repeat the shortcuts until the UV mapping looks like this. And then go back to the layout. And here you can see our soda can have the blender label texture. Then press N to unhide the sidebar and then change the Z rotation to something like this. And the goal of this process is to have the label facing forward when we go to the front view, and then press Ctrl plus A to apply the rotation. So I like to render my videos in cycles, but if you want, you can choose to render in EV. So go to the render settings and change the render engine to cycles. And if you have a GPU device, go and change to that for better rendering. Press Z to switch shading mode and select render mode. Then unfold the color management and change the look to high contrast. So let's continue with our Blender label texture material. So before we start, we need the Node Wrangler add-on. So this is how enable the Node Wrangler. Go to Edit, then Preference. Click Add-on, then go to Search and type in Node Wrangler. Check the Node Wrangler, and here you go. And then change the metallic to 0.5. And then add another image texture node. And plug the color into the roughness. Then open the fingerprints image. You will find the link in the description, so download that, and the file's name will look like this. Then add a color ramp and place it after the image texture node. And then press Ctrl plus T to enable the node wrangler. Then plug the object into the vector on the mapping node. And then press Shift plus Ctrl plus color ramp. And when you see this weird black thing, you know, we did it the right way. And then change from flat to box and change the blend to 0.5. 
and last change the color space to non-color. And then on the mapping node, change the scale to 0.1. And on the color ramp node. So change the black value to 0.2 and then change the white value to 0.5. And then press Shift plus Control plus Principled BSDF. And then add a mix color node and place it right after the color ramp. And then change the color into the B instead. And then change from mix to add on the mix color. And then add a RGB curve node and plug the color into the A on the mix color, and then change the factor to one, and then add a noise texture node, and last plug the color into the color, and then press shift plus control plus the noise texture node, and when you see the gray and white thing, you know you did it the right way, and then change the scale to 7.72, and then change the detail all the way up to 15, and last change the roughness to zero and then press Shift plus Control plus the RGB curve node, and when you see this colors, you know you did it the right way. Then click here to make a point, and change the first numbers to 0.5454, and then change the second number to 0.1875. Then make another point, and change the first number to 0.7954, and then change the second number to 0.6187. And this is what our RGB curve will look like. Then press Shift plus Control plus the principled BSDF to see what we got. And then add a bump node and plug the normal into the normal. And then change the strength to 0.043 and last change the distance to 0.1. And then add another noise texture node and plug the fac into the height. And then press Shift plus Control plus the noise texture. And then change the scale to 700 and then change the detail all the up to 15. Then press Ctrl plus T to enable the node wrangler, and then select the texture coordinate and press X to delete it because we don't need it, and then plug the object into the vector. Then press Shift plus Ctrl plus the principled BSDF to see what we got, and the unfold the specular and add an invert color node, and then plug the color into the IOR level, and then add another image texture node, then plug the color into the color, and now open the image I linked down below. The name of the image will look like this. And select all these nodes and press Ctrl plus J to join to a new frame. And here on the sidebar, we have the node selection. And under the label, rename it to Blender Label. Yay! We have set up the Blender Label texture. And here is my results. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like my tutorial. And if you use my Blender Label texture, don't forget to give me some credit. And if you do a video of this animation, go and publish that on Instagram and tag me, amalin.mpeg4. Comment down below what I can make in the next video and with the editing and all that thing. And feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and videos.